just want to say a few words. Um, you know, when I first met Randy, I, I wasn't sure at first. I remember I was, I was taking the JMZ back into Manhattan and I was sitting down listening to music and then all of a sudden I saw this guy come out in my peripheral and he made me take out my headphones and then he asked me if I thought his sunglasses were flying shit. And I was like, I, yeah, I, I think your sunglasses are flying shit. And then he proceeded to show me more photos of him on his phone wearing these sunglasses. And in that moment, my keychain had fallen out and he was like, what is that? Like some kind of dildo or something? And I was like, no, it's not a dildo. It's, it's my keychain. I mean, I guess it could be a dildo. I never thought about it that way before. And then, then he pointed to my purse, which was like this big. And he goes, I bet you have like a hundred dildos in there. And I was like, I don't have, I don't have any dildos in there. It's, it's, I just hold my wallet and my keys and maybe some chapstick. And then um, at, at that moment I saw my stop pull up and I was like heading out. And then he asked me if I'd like to catch a drink or something. And I was a little hesitant at first, but then I remembered my therapist saying that I don't put myself out there a lot and that I'm very judgmental. And so I was like, hey, why not? So then we got, we went to the nearest um, bar, which was at the foot of the station. And um, I guess we just had an amazing night talking about his sunglasses. And, you know, six months later, here we are. It's just, and I, you know, it's just miraculous. In New York, if you really lower your expectations, you can truly find someone special. And I think I found that in Randy. Cheers, everyone, to Randy. Are you trying to make a speech? Hmm? Did you want to make a speech?